Hi, welcome to Supposedly Fun. My name's Joel. We're doing a special edition today of My Mac and Cheese with me, Joel, and Teddy. Greg is still recovering from his surgery. He's doing well. So people have been asking me for a tour of my bookshelf. So Teddy and I are going to give you that tour. Okay, hold on. So a lot of my favorite cookbooks, I've been keeping mainly because I love what's in the cookbooks, what they mean to me, and the colors. So on the very top shelf here, I have all of my chocolate cookbooks. Greg leaves me little notes every now and then, so I always got to keep those. So they're fun. My top shelf are things that I use fairly commonly. Uh, do a lot of uh, King Arthur. They have really good solid recipes. Milk Street has good recipes. And then also I helped Joanna do her quick and easy meals as a recipe tester for her. So I did that. I like Preppy Kitchen by John Cornell. And then uh, Tegan does some, Gerard does really good weeknight dinners in her uh, Harvest Cookbook. And then What's Upon a Chef, um, I helped her as well. So um, those are some of my special cookbooks that I like. This is our big serving plate that I got for Greg one Christmas. And then one of my dessert plates up there, Ranch Romance. On my chocolate shelf, I have to put Julia Childs because she's always been a good solid recipe for any kind of French cooking. Over on this shelf, this could be my baking shelf. I have different, I love doing pies. So Erin G. McDowell, a fellow Kansas girl, she uh, is phenomenal at pies. So if you want to learn how to do pies, do solid baking on pies, this is the book I would gear you to. It is like one of the best. Um, I have all my King Arthur, my baked, and just some really fun um, pie books over here. If you are a new baker and you want to start baking and cooking, start here by Sola El Whaley. It's a great cookbook on really fun recipes. Very good descriptions. She'll tell you what you did wrong, what you didn't do right, and everything. And some, she gives you step-by-step -step instructions on what you're mixing. I know when I'm creaming butter and sugar and I'm helping Greg cream butter and sugar, he never knows to what step. And so I kind of helped him there. He's great doing it now. But she will tell you where to do these things. And her start here. Great cookbook if you're a new baker. Down here is my celebrity cookbook shelf. I have Magnolia. One of my favorites, because I love doing Cajun cooking, is going to be uh, Toops from Top Chef. And he has Chasing the Gator. It's all Cajun recipes. And I absolutely love this book. Um, I was actually a sous chef for Curtis Stone at one point. So I did get one of his cookbooks, and he signed it to me. By the way, my nickname is Mac sometimes in the kitchen, so it really is my cookbook. Uh, I have a great cookbook from Tom Clickio. It's one of my favorites. If you want to really learn on cooking and baking, um, Salt, Fat, Acid, and Heat is a great book on telling you all the different flavor profiles to look for when you're doing something. So one thing I learned is when I'm baking or, or when I'm cooking something, there's just something missing and it's either one of these items, a little acid in there, a little heat in there, a little salt, will bump it up to really balance it out. Uh, for an example, I did a, a cauliflower soup and I hated it, it was horrible. My chef says, get six cloves of roasted garlic, puree it in a little bit of the soup, put it back in there, and the roasted garlic will bump that soup up. It's actually an amazing soup. Um, I really like um, some comfort food. So we met Alex, Alex Gornicelli. Greg and I were in New York City and we met her. And we sat in line to get a signed copy from her, which is probably one of my prized. So when Greg and I were in line, I, uh, I love my shirt, by the way. I was wearing a shirt that says, there's room for all of God's creatures right next to the mashed potatoes. Alex loved it so much. She goes, can I get a picture? I wanted a picture with her. And she says, can I get a picture with you with that shirt? I go, absolutely. And so um, she shared that on Insta in, um, Instagram. And so I was on hers and she was on mine. So we had a lot of fun with that. Um, I really like some Mexican foods. And so 
I have a great one from Michelle Bernstein. She was a chef in uh, Miami that Greg and I absolutely loved. It's probably one of our best meals out. Uh, it's a restaurant called Beachy's. It's now closed. Uh, but we went there a lot and had dinner when he had visited me in Miami. And we went like five times. And every time we were there, her husband was there. Says, oh, Michelle will be in. She'll be in. I'll bring her to your table. We never got to meet Michelle. So that was kind of sad. Uh, on this, these two shelves are a combination of just baking and cooking uh, different things. Um, got some things from Chuck. I really like books on herbs and spices that kind of tell me how to work with some certain things. Um, I had to get this book just because it's the most gorgeous cover and I love huckleberries. So that's a really fun book. Um, the Pie and Pastry Bible is a really good one if you're wanting to just really work out some techniques that you're missing out on. Um, but it's a great book. Um, got some really fun books going through here. All of them are really good. My sister-in-law is really good about picking out some fun books for me. So she got this one. It was out of uh, New York City. And it just has some really cool stuff in there that um, I have liked. But she has a sweet corn custard pie that I love corn and blueberries together. It's a really great combination. Um, I'm always happy to share recipes if anybody um, needs a recipe for something. Um, I will say uh, about recipes, I have a recipe program I absolutely like. It's called Cookin, um, C-O-K apostrophe N. And I have, it's my fifth program I've had. And it's the only program I've had. I celebrated five years with them. And it's never crashed or I lost recipes. I've had Master Cook, some other ones, and I've lost recipes. And I just don't want to deal with that anymore. I will put a warning or a caveat in there on uh, cooking. They're a great company, but they are ran by a very tight Mormon family who, a, who are Trump supporters. I really have to overlook that uh, for the sake of my recipes and being... Um, keeping that. They don't bring their religion or their politics into the cooking community, so I'm happy about that, but I just know that is some of their background, but it is a absolute perfect program. I can have it on my phone. I can shoot a picture, add it to their... I can go to a website, add it to my cookbook. I can do whatever I want, and it just brings it into my cookbook, and it backs up really nice, so I always have a backup. Um, I got some fun cookbooks down here. Actually, since we are a literary group here, I had to get Fanny Flagg's Whistle Stop Cafe cookbook. Uh, if you've read Fried Green Tomatoes, that is the Whistle Stop Cafe. And this is just a great book of some of the recipes that they had in there. Creamed onions, fried okra. I love fried okra. I actually made Greg a fried okra fan. Uh, one of my favorite uh, bakeries in New York City is called Baked. So Baked has a nice um, series of cookbooks that just came out that are called Baked. And there's really some fun recipes in there as well. So I got a little secret for you guys. Greg and I went to Italy once. I don't know if you knew that or not. So coming back from Italy, uh, we had to get some of our Italian cookbooks. Um, this was a really good one I got. This is my favorite. This is from a little place in Positano. And everything they do is with lemons. And yeah, um, that's a village, but everything they do with lemons is just really beautiful and it just makes a really bright dish when you're cooking with them. So that is kind of one of my favorite cookbooks from Positano. It was, this gentleman uh, was friends with somebody who had a jam shop called Valenti. And so Valenti was one of our shops where we got all of our jams, olive oils and everything from that we absolutely loved. This is one of my favorites. It is a pistachio cream. We got some orange and some lemon, limon, and olive oil. And really some beautiful plates that we got from there too. So it's a, a fun cookbook. It's not a great one, but I think you'll all understand why it's one of my favorite covers. So it is um, put out like got in the 70s by um, the pasta maker who makes these pasta machines. And it's basically how to use their pasta machine. So I don't have the machine, but I kept the cookbook. 
so one of my favorite books that I, I received, I did not get it, but it was a gift from Jen the Librarian. It's a beautiful padded cover of um, Italian cooking. And it just has gorgeous recipes, gorgeous layouts. And I've actually cooked a couple things from here and I absolutely love it. And um, there's some really old photographs in there and just a beautiful book. So I, I really love this book and oh, that back cover. How amazing is that? Um, so it's just some light um, Italian cooking. So from Jen Librarian, I absolutely love it. And Another uh, book that I have on the Italian shelf is Mama Agati. This is a cooking school in Amalfi. We could not get into this cooking school when I we went there. Um, so we found another cooking school and we did a little cooking class with them. So they gave us this uh, great little cookbook on um, just some fun recipes. There is a recipe in here that is absolutely gorgeous and I will make a PDF of it and have Greg put it on the um, link on the website. And it's this Amalf, um, it's an almond cake that we made. This one is a chocolate, we did a regular almond. It's super easy and delicious. So I'll have a uh, link to that as well. And then behind here, we have one of our beloved Italy uh, liqueurs. It's limoncello. I make my own, but we had to get some from Italy because we drank so much of this. And then when we got our pottery, we got this beautiful little Christmas tree. It's a music box as well, and it plays music. So we had a really good time, and I've now been collecting some books from Italy that I absolutely love. Kind of a close-up of our dishes. So whenever I do make a uh, special pasta dish for Greg and I, it's just a pasta bowl and a uh, pasta dish and two bowls for us, and it's just kind of for us, so I do it. Uh, we are looking to maybe get a set of eight and display them. So here's some of my favorite books that I have that I've kind of kept um, that I've read throughout the years. Labyrinth on Ice, I've talked about it. Um, an Arctic book. Uh, I have my elephant books down here, my Modoc, my ship books that I really like. Alex Trebek had a really good book that came out and I liked it. I absolutely love Doc and Raider. It's a Canadian um, illustrator who did a book on um, two gay men um, coming together in the 80s and 90s and it's just a beautiful book. All right, so that's kind of my cookbook section. Uh, if anybody has any questions, throw some comments down below. I will not rely on Greg to answer. I will try to do my best to answer. So I am baking right now, so I am having a um, little thing going on in the kitchen, so it's a big mess. So come on, let's go into the kitchen. So I'm making some blondies for Greg tonight. So I have all my stuff for blondies, my brown butter, and then my rolling pin collection up here that I really like. Um, I love copper pans. This pan is actually the pan that I cooked Bananas Fosters for, for Tina Turner when I was uh, in Kansas City at a hotel. So I always have to keep this pan. I absolutely love it. Then on this wall, I have my bunt pans. Do you even bunt bro? So I have all my butt pans up here that I really like and um, keep them displayed so I can kind of have them out. I kind of uh, share them with our neighbors next door. He really loves butt pans too. So he'll borrow from me and we'll just kind of do some things. The, rest, uh, the menus on the wall, this is a recipe Greg and I went to in Alberta, Canada, and it's a fondue restaurant. And that's where we had a rehearsal dinner before dinner before the wedding and this were the placemats and I love the placemats and then the uh, menu for the uh, fondue restaurant was just really an amazing restaurant so every time we go up to Banff we go to this restaurant and we have a really great time that is my cookbook tour if you have any questions please list them down below if you need a suggestion on a recipe I'll be glad to help questions comments let us know all right well thank you for following this special edition of supposedly fun teddy and i are here saying thanks have a great day
and happy cooking.